Oh hi, I didn't see you there. You caught me thinking about some of my favorite queer comics and manga of the year that you probably haven't read yet. You see, to celebrate Mardi Gras, I thought I'd invite one of my favorite people in the store, Flick, and talk about some of our favorite LGBT-friendly comics and manga. She's behind me, isn't she? Yes, I am. First up, Bloom, a really adorable YA comic about the blossoming relationship between a baker's son and a pastry protege. I read it a few days ago, it's really, really lovely. It gives me the same sort of warm, fuzzy feelings as stuff like Taproot and Tea Dragon Society. I absolutely love it, it's so cute and fluffy and it just gives me some really feelings. Mm. And the art is happy. really lovely. It's so good, it's so pretty, it just... I love very simple, coloured legs like this and it's so nice. Mm. The Prince and the Dressmaker by Jen Wang is another really cute queer YA comic. Instead of being about like a gay romance, it's rather about a prince who wants to dress up as a princess and wear dresses and his friendship slash growing relationship he has for his dressmaker. He wants a career in fashion. We've all admitted that we've cried from this comic. It's so beautiful. It's, it's so beautiful. Yeah. I cried most of the way through it. It's so good. I love it so much. Mm, it's really it's colorful so really as well. It has a really nice Pretty color palette. Clean lines, which I really like yeah. in my art styles. Just very simple but elegant, like a nice dress. Yeah! Kansai-san is a yuri manga about two girls in high school, mm -hmm. one of whom is in the gardening club and one of whom, Kansai-san, is in the athletics club and it is just about their high school romance and the many trials that they face in the course of their love. It's not creepy, which a lot of yuri manga does tend to be, but it's also not like super pure, which is another thing that Yuri tends to be. So right. it's got, it's kind, it's realistic, Yeah. Is what I want to say. Warm fuzzies seems to be the theme of this video, yeah. and it just, it gives you all the warm fuzzies. It's so good. Iceman. Okay, but for real, Iceman is very good because uh, the X-Men universe has always had a history of appropriating queer culture and queer history without actually having queer characters. But this is the first queer X-Men comic and it's really, really good. Basically, it's about Bobby Iceman Drake in the future realizes that he's gay and then it's about him trying to like navigate throughout the world both as a mutant and a queer person. It's still an X-Men comic, like he fights Draken, his boyfriend gets kidnapped. It's all about like his relationship with Kitty Pryde as well. And as someone who grew up on X-Men comics and always wanted a queer story, this is perfect. And we're mad it got cancelled. There's another series coming out though. The one that we've also thought of is Claudine, which is by one of our favourite mangakas, Ryoko Ikida, who did Rose of Versailles, which is a very, very good manga retelling of the French Revolution from a gender fluid and gender ambiguous knight, or Lady Oscar. That is currently not available in English. Uh, Udon is still in the middle of working on it. They said they were going to finish it around January last year, so we have no idea when that's coming out. But the next best thing is Claudine, which is about a trans woman in France. It's a really raw, dramatized retelling of someone's life, exploring it, their identity and what it means to be queer. In comparison to all the other stuff that they have in this list, it's a lot more dramatic and serious. I love her art style. It's so beautiful and so heartfelt. The story of like acceptance and non-acceptance mm. and how that kind of plays through throughout the manga is just really, really beautiful. So, those are Flick and I's favorite queer comics and manga. What were yours? Were there some that we should have included that we didn't? Have you read any on the list? Let us know in the comments below or pop into the Books Kinokuniya top floor of the galleries, Town Hall. Until next time.